Hey guys, so welcome back. If you're new to my channel or simply not yet subscribed, I'm Brittany and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. You're probably gonna hear a little bit of traffic in the background just because the windows are open. And today we're going to be diving into some black eyed kids encounters. Now black eyed kids are very creepy and something that I never want to meet. Like it is my dream to meet aliens. I, you know, see spirits sometimes, but I don't want to meet these. So let's dive right in. I was never much of a believer, past tense. Before I explain my experience, I feel it necessary to tell you how much of a non-believer I was of so many things. I pretty much called BS on everything except spirits. I had too many experiences in my 32 years to not believe in the afterlife and spirits, which I guess now makes me sound a little bit silly because why would one be true, but other explainable things not be? Anyways, one evening, about three months ago, I was sitting in my car listening to my favorite Stevie Nicks song and smoking. So I was in my car in my own little world when I saw two children who seemed to have come out of nowhere and they began to head towards my car. I thought it was strange, especially being as late as it was, but hey, who am I to judge? I thought they would pass by and continue on their walk or whatever. But I quickly realized they were approaching my driver's side window. Creepy, but okay. I choose to just get out instead of rolling my window down because I felt rolling the windows down was a bit rude, to be honest. I wanted to be close to the front door of my home as possible. You know, just in case things got weird. And boy, did they get weird. As I was getting out, one of the children, a little girl about six, asked why I was getting out. I simply answered, because I'm heading in for the night. I followed up with, you guys okay? They both quickly responded with, no, we're scared. The other child, the little boy asked, May we sit in your car until our parents come? I thought, until your parents come? Where are their parents and where are they coming from? I asked where they lived and which they answered down the road. So I told them it was getting late and they better just head home. At that moment, both children peered up at me at the exact same time. And it was then that I noticed the eyes. The eyes were like nothing I had ever seen before. Dark, very dark eyes. Eyes that were unnaturally cold, so cold. I immediately got an uncomfortable feeling. The kind of feeling that makes your fight or flight kick in. I knew I needed to get away from these kids and quick. I told them I was heading in and a little one asked, may we come in? I said, no. <laughs> and it was then that the polite children started putting off an almost annoyed and angry vibe. I again told the children they needed to head home and the best I could do was call the police when I get inside. I said goodbye and headed towards the front door. They followed. It was time I got assertive. These children were not coming into my home. They both began mumbling things I could not make out, but whatever it was that they were saying did not sound kind. I made it inside, turned to lock the door when the knocking began. Are you kidding me? Why won't these kids get the hint? I was not answering the door. No way. I called my boyfriend and explained everything. He thought I sounded crazy, but agreed to head over to stay the night so I would feel safer. Needless to say, children eventually gave up and went back to whatever creepy soulless hole they crawled out of. I hate to talk about kids like that, but they were not normal kids, not even close. I've never seen these black eyed children since and I pray to never see them again. Encounter two. I had an experience with black eyed children when I worked at a hotel. That night was extremely slow and we only had five rooms occupied and I worked the night shift. I got there at 11 p.m. and I already felt an intense fear. This was pretty unusual as I was used to working there all alone during these those hours five nights a week. I rarely saw people on my shift. So it's around 1 a.m. and I get even more freaked out. I look around the lobby and no one was there. I look at the cameras 
There was one for literally everywhere in the hotel. I could see every inch of the grounds from the front desk. There wasn't anyone on the cameras. I looked down for a couple of seconds and back up, I see a little girl at the counter. She's so short, I can only see just her nose up. Her eyes were solid black and she had black hair. She came out of nowhere and managed to make zero noise. She was staring at me silently. I jumped and was so scared at this point. I stuttered, hi, can I help you? And she practically whispers in a monotone voice that didn't suit her. Can I have some towels? And I said, okay. And I'm practically doubling over with fear. I go around the corner to grab some towels and turn to see she's in the entryway behind the counter or two behind the counter. I was so scared. I could see her full body at this point. And she was exactly the kind of little girl you would expect in a horror movie. Waist length, black hair, pale complexion, black eyes, and barely audible. I handed her the towels and she grabbed them. Her hand touched mine and as she did, and it was super clammy. In the same voice as before, she said, thank you, and turns and walks away. I looked at the cameras and didn't see anyone go into any rooms or see her anywhere. I remained terrified all night and still have no explanation for this. I usually do not scare easily and love kids, but that night I felt a brand new kind of fear. And this is the last encounter. Now this person doesn't believe that it is a black eyed kid, but let me read it to you. I rarely share on here not because I don't want to, but because I have in the past and wasn't getting, or wasn't good at getting my experiences across, but I wanted to give it another go. I want to know if anyone has experienced anything similar to what I saw back in 1999. So 20 years ago, it happened on October 9th of that year. And the only reason I know this is because eight-year-old me was watching the premiere to the Disney Channel original movie, Don't Look Under the Bed. Great movie. I hope that little factoid doesn't deter from what I'm trying to get across. Before I continue, I'd like to give some backstory to the house I grew up in. I lived in Kensington, a part of Philadelphia that has the largest open hair, um, like a drug market. And so it looks like The Walking Dead with addicts slugging around everywhere. And it wasn't uncommon seeing some of them go into back alleys. I was four or five at the time that I first saw something out of the ordinary. I remember it clear as day. My siblings and I were playing in the middle bedroom, having a good time being kids. My mom has just introduced us to her new boyfriend at the time and they came upstairs and watched us from the hall. I don't know what happened, but during our fun, I got a feeling of being watched and just had to turn into that direction, which happened to be the one window in the middle bedroom. I looked out and saw what at first appeared to be a man, but I looked closer and I noticed that he didn't have a face and his skin from head to toe had the texture of a wrinkled black plastic bag. I remember it reflecting the orange glow of the streetlights and being scared. It was staring a good 20 to 30 seconds and I quickly turned to my mom who was standing at the door and said, there's somebody watching us. She rushed to the window, but it was gone. Now fast forward and many events later, I'm on the couch watching Disney Channel. It was an ordinary day and I waited all day long to watch this movie. And so I sat downstairs alone to do which, or to do so, which was rare, for I was always afraid at this point in my life. I would see shadow people regularly and other paranormal phenomena would happen, but I felt pretty good because my siblings didn't seem interested in the movie I was watching. Plus, my mom had cable in her room and the cable box had a chip so we could watch um, PPV, or oh, pay-per-view for free. So they stayed upstairs. Now, like I said, everything was going good. When about halfway through the movie, I see out of the corner of my eye, someone step into the doorway of our kitchen. I turn up to look and I see a figure standing there. It looks like a man. The only difference is he's white as snow. His skin and his clothes 
white as a blank piece of paper, but his eyes were black. So black, they were void-like. I didn't scream or run away. After witnessing this in person or thing, or after witnessing this person or thing, just appear in our kitchen doorway. I just stared at it and it stared at me back. So I slowly got up and made my way upstairs to where my siblings were trying to explain to my older brother that I saw something downstairs. The creepy thing is he or it didn't move from its, his spot, even as it slowly left my view as I went upstairs. I also did not feel any negative or malevolent energy from it. It was just startling seeing all white man thing standing there. I was used to shadow people and also that bag man from earlier. So my question is, has anyone ever, has anyone else ever encountered a pale white person with black eyes? And I'm not talking about black eyed kids. This was something totally different. The last one seems very demonic to me, but they had said that they there's no negative energy coming off of it. But maybe there wasn't negative energy because they didn't want negative energy coming off of them. They wanted them to be trusted. I'm curious. I don't know if they ever saw them again. By the sound of it, it doesn't seem like it, but very strange. I'd love to know your guys' opinion on what you think the last encounter could be. The second encounter is very strange for a black eyed child because they ask for towels and then they just leave, but then they just dis didn't disappear anywhere. So it almost seems like that was some sort of spirit instead of a black eyed child, even with the black eyes. But the first one is very much like dead on what a normal black eyed child encounter is. They try to get into your home when you don't allow them into your home or, or car, either or. Then they start knocking, they're very aggressive, but they can't enter without permission, which I think is the craziest part of all of this. It's almost like the stories of the vampires that you hear where they can't come into your home unless they are invited in. I also have other Black Eyed Children videos if you want to go and check those out. And make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button for me. And until next time, adios, bye.